A new 5v5 capture the flag game mode? How about a way that you could create and play a Brawl Stars map that you made in game? Maybe even level 11? These are just a few ideas that I would like to see be implemented into Brawl Stars in 2019, guys. That's right, this is my 2019 Brawl Stars update wish list. Hope you enjoy. Hello fellow brothers, I'm Kara Simon. and it is time to brawl. Now today we're going to talk about the seven things that I want to come into Brawl Stars in 2019. And no, I'm not just talking about new brawlers and new skins. I mean obviously I want those. By 2020 I would love to see 10 new brawlers and maybe even double the skins that we currently have. Today I'm going to be talking about some big things that I think would really make the game a much better game. Make sure you subscribe and let me know which ideas you like the most. And of course feel free to suggest your own ideas in the section below and make sure if you do that that you also go Go out and like some other comments from ideas that other people have posted. I'll definitely check the most liked comments and you never know if I see something I really like, I very well may actually just send along to Supercell. Okay guys, let's start off with what I think is the biggest idea to be added into Brawl Stars that I think would be so cool. And that would be an in-game map creator where you could actually create your own maps, play player made maps, and possibly even tweak the win condition so that you could actually like mess around and maybe even create your own mini games or something like that. Supercell wouldn't even have to create a map maker or something like that. They would All they would have to do is they would have to make it so that you could actually download the map that you create online into the game and actually go out and play around with it. Okay, my thought is like on the days where the special events aren't active, that that fifth slot could actually be a place for you to go and check out community main maps. Maybe there could be some sort of like map rating system so you could see new and exciting maps that people are making. There could be contests. I know that I would personally spend countless hours just going in there and messing around with maps and seeing if I could make something new or really fun and exciting and original. I mean, there are so many things that you could do. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave that at that. And let's go ahead and move on to number two. I'm thinking a 5v5 game mode called Gold Rush. Just imagine the size of a show down map where you have a team spawning on the bottom and a team spawning at the very top and just imagine a train on a predetermined track for that specific map as it goes through the course sometimes it would be closer to the blue team sometimes it'd be closer to the red team every 10 seconds the train would actually drop a golden coin and the golden coin could be really small and have a one on it maybe a little bit bigger and have a three a five or like a giant coin that has a big fat 10 on it if a brawler picks up a coin and stays alive for 10 seconds essentially Essentially, until the next coin drops, their team would get the number of points added to the score based off of the number that was on the coin. If they got killed in that 10 seconds, they would drop the coin and someone else would have to be able to pick it up and then stay alive for 10 seconds. Basically, there would be two ways that the match would end. Either your team reaches a certain number of points, forcing the match to end early, or at the end of the three minutes, when the train finishes its track and is, is stopped moving, the team with the more points would actually win. There are a lot of different reasons why I like this idea, okay? So Gold Rush to me is kind of like a mixture of of bounty and gem grab in some sort of way. But the coolest thing is that you could actually follow the train tracks along the specific parts of the map that would favor different types of brawlers and would give advantages or disadvantage to the home or the enemy team. So the meta would be adapting throughout the match. It would be super fun and exciting. I mean, I just think it sounds like a ton of fun and I would love to see that be put into Brawl Stars sometime in 2019. For idea number three, we've got another 5v5 game mode. That's right, guys capture the flag. Now, I think the idea would be for this map to also be the size of a showdown map. Teams would spawn in the same places as Gold Rush with the blue team on the bottom and the red team on the top and the sites would be mirrored. And both teams would have a flag on their side of the map, maybe in the lower right hand or the lower left hand corner of the map. And then their goal would be to try to get onto the enemy's half of the map, pick up their flag and bring it back to their home base so that they could then win that match. Here's a map concept that I created using Mortius's map making tool that is still in beta so you guys can't all use it, I'm sorry. I actually shortened it for the thumbnail artwork for this video, but now that I'm thinking about it, the concept for this gameplay might actually be better on a slightly shorter map um, than an entire width of a showdown map so that the gameplay is actually a little bit more close packed. But no matter what, this gives you a good idea of kind of what I mean. I imagine what people would do is they would split up to two people on defense and then three people on offense so that they could try to get to the enemy flag and then survive. Now here's some rules. Okay, so the flag carrier could not drop the flag unless they got it knocked back, like maybe like an El Primo 
uh, lands on him and knocks him back, or if they get taken out. This would make it so that brawlers like Mortis could not become like a really OP flag carrier. Additionally, flag carriers would have a slower than normal movement speed, and I'm thinking kind of like the speed of Nita's bear uh, to give defense an advantage. And then of course, to make things interesting, the blue team could not pick up their blue flag, and the red team could not pick up their red flag as well. This way, once you actually move the flag closer to your home base, you wouldn't have to try and recover ground later on, or people couldn't like hide their flag in the corner or something like that. I've been wanting 5v5 in Brawl Stars for a very long time, and I think that this would be a really fun and exciting way to actually uh, implement it. I don't know, I could talk about it for a while, but I'm gonna go ahead and move on to number four. And that is going to be mostly actually a quality of life idea, but that would be to make it so that you can actually earn your daily tokens in a casual way without actually having to risk losing trophies. Even if it meant that you earned those tokens at half or even a third of the rate that you normally do. Okay, now there's a very big reason why I'm suggesting this, okay? With all of my brawlers at 500 trophies, I, there's, there's two things, first of all, I can't play with friends of mine that aren't at that competitive level, and that, that's really frustrating for me because I've got a ton of friends that are now playing in global that haven't been playing for the past year and a half that I have been gaining a lot of skills and stuff, and, and if I go out and play with them, they're just going to get crushed against their opponents, and that's really frustrating for me. But a second huge reason why I think that this needs to be added into the game, it starts out where you can just jump into Brawl Stars and play it casually like that, and that's so much fun. That's one of the big reasons why I fell in love with Brawl Stars and why I have fallen in love with almost all Supercell games. But if Eventually, if you are a hardcore player, it takes at least 15 minutes or more at a time for you actually to jump in there and play. Most of the time, it takes three to five minutes for me to actually jump online, get a team organized, decide on our brawlers, and actually start playing. This has actually ruined my casual experience of playing Brawl Stars. Because in like Clash Royale or Clash of Clans, you totally can be a hardcore player for five minutes and put it down and be like, yeah, I'm awesome. Like that was so much fun for five minutes. And in those games, I can totally understand why Supercell has not implemented a casual way for you to actually progress through the game. I used to do what my friend Kilroy says. I used to play a lot of poop games. A poop game is where you go and sit on the toilet and, uh, uh, play Brawl Stars for a couple of matches uh, and then move on with your life. But having a way to play casually even for half or a third of the rewards and experience would definitely get me playing Brawl Stars more and I know it would get a lot of other players playing Brawl Stars as well. Now, <laughs> this is gonna be funny because in contrast to having a more casual way to play Brawl Stars, I also want to see a more competitive way to play with some sort of competitive league system being put into the end game content for Brawl Stars. I would want this to be separate from Brawl individual trophies. This way you can play any of the brawlers for whichever was the most competitive for the current game mode or map, and the maps and modes would actually cycle so that there would be a lot of benefits to actually playing lots of different brawlers, but it would be a more overall test of your skill as a player. Now there would be two separate leagues that you could participate in, okay? So the first would be a team league, and this is where you push with the same teammates that you select at the beginning of the season, or before you actually jump into the season, and you actually go through and you face off other teams that are in similar leagues as you and your current team. At the end of the season, depending on how well your team did, you guys would receive certain rewards, and then you could either choose to continue with the same team next season, or you could organize a different team, or whatever you wanted to do. Then a second league, which would be a solo league, where you would always play with randoms on your team, and the enemy team would also be a disorganized team with just randoms as well. In this situation, you would be put into a room with other players from your league, and then you would have one minute to choose your brawlers and hit ready. And of course, to uh, prevent a toxic environment, there would be certain, like, pre-selected phrases that you could use or you could suggest that a player play a specific brawler or something like that. And that would also help with overcoming language barriers. But aside from that, communication would be limited so that people wouldn't be too toxic. Now, on top of this, I want this to be a true test of skill without the amount of time that you have as an option to play being the core factor at uh, how well you do in the league. Okay, so here is how this would work out. Uh, every 24 hours, you and your teammates would actually have to participate in both the team league and then also the solo league. Your win for both of the leagues would be totally separate. And depending on how many wins you had individually in the solo league or your team had in the team league, you would progress into higher leagues and start earning more rewards. And currently the seasons last 14 days, which means that there would be 14 possibilities for you to actually win a match. And only the best of the best would win all 14 matches. Okay, now adding the league system into Brawl Stars would definitely increase the amount of rewards being given out to players. And uh, for... My next idea, I've got a way to kind of offset that. Idea number six is I would like a way for you to actually spend gold on things in game other than brawler upgrades. Because I've had a max account for a while, I currently have 58,000 
gold on my account. And there is literally no benefit to having it. And uh, there is no benefit for me to open up any of my Brawl Boxes. There are so many other people at the end game part of Brawl Stars that are in, in the exact same situation that have no reason for them to continue to earn those rewards. But I've got a lot of fun ideas for this, okay? Um, first of all, gold for Brawler skins. Like, obviously the cost would have to be super high because it's one of the best ways for Brawl Stars to actually uh, earn revenue. On top of that, I would love to see purchasable end screen emotes where at the end of the match, you have the option of like hitting the crying face or like hitting the laughing face or, you know, but oh, granted, granted, I would only want this to be put into the game if at the very start we would have the option of permanently muting it so we don't have to worry about that toxic environment. But I think that would be super fun. On top of that, I think it would be really cool if you could actually purchase different uh, reactions to your brawlers, like the poses after you win or you lose, you know, they all have a winning pose, they all have a losing pose. It would be cool to actually purchase more poses. Maybe even like throw in some brawler dances or something like that. I mean, I don't know where I came up with that idea from. <coughs> Fortnite! I also think it'd be cool if you could purchase uh, various different profile pictures, or if there was like a map creator in the game being able to purchase new types of tiles with your gold. I mean, all of this I think would be really, really cool. I it would be really awesome if some of them could be like added into the brawl box system so like you have a very rare chance of unlocking some of them naturally but then also you could absolutely spend them spend gems on them to try and unlock them that way but for the hardcore players that have already maxed out their account it would give them a reason to continue to play the game uh it would give them a reason to keep spending money on the game even after they have a competitive brawl stars account that is fully maxed out and upgraded and i think it would just be a really fun idea to make the game a lot more diverse and exciting okay guys we talked about six really cool ideas that I think need to be added into Brawl Stars in 2019. And now we're gonna talk about what I think is the coolest idea, and that is going to be level 11 in Brawl Stars, Overdrive. Okay, now I know that most people watching this game right now are probably newer players and still probably have not figured out all the mechanics of all the brawlers in the game, but near the end of 2019, I would like there to be added more depth into Brawl Stars' core gameplay at higher end of progression, because by the end of the year, there's going to be a lot of new players that are actually nearing that end game progression, and I want there to be more content available to them. And that's where level 11 comes into play, where you can unlock your overdrive for your brawlers, similarly to how you would unlock the star power. There would be a small chance that if they were at level 10, that it could drop from a brawl box, even less of a chance than the star power, but it could also be purchased from the shop with a large amount of gold. Brawlers at level 11 with their overdrive would go from having a regular star underneath their item icon in the game to having a star with wings similar to how the current Brawl Stars logo is in the game. This way, other players could actually see that they are at level 11 and know that they need to adapt their strategy accordingly. Overdrive would not be based off of hitting an enemy brawler like Super is, instead it would actually charge up passively, passively over time and could only be used once it was charged up all the way. And when brawlers have their overdrive charged up, the circle underneath them would start to glow brighter so that brawlers could actually know that they have their overdrive charged up and they need to play around it. Okay, now overdrive would not have another joystick. There are already too many joysticks in Brawl Stars. Instead, it would be a button that you would either tap to activate, uh, maybe hit to toggle on or off, uh, or maybe even hold down to use depending on the style of the uh, special ability that the brawler would have. Here are just some quick examples of some overdrives that I think would be really cool to be added into the game. So when Terra would use her overdrive, she would actually teleport five tiles in the direction that she was moving when it was activated. Piper would open up her umbrella in front of her for a quick two seconds that would block all incoming damage being shot toward her. It would not work against supers that could break through walls or area attacks like Barley. Bull would body slam two tiles in the direction that he is running toward, and if he hit an enemy brawler, then it would actually knock them over for a split second, either preventing them from finishing off their super, um, or maybe even knocking the ball out of their hands or something like that. I'm thinking Leon would quickly pull out a sweet ninja sword, and he would deal a little bit of damage to any brawler that was really close up to him. El Primo would turn into a, a giant rock, basically a burning meteorite where he couldn't move, he couldn't deal damage, but he also could not receive damage until the duration actually ran out or if he like let go of the button so that he would then become his normal self again. Maybe it would like last for five seconds if he didn't do that though. I mean, these are just a few ideas that I think would be really fun 
Um, and I think that this would be a huge addition to the end game level of Brawl Stars and would play a big role in adding diversity and skill into the core of the game. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a ton of fun to make. I want to know which ideas that I talked about today that uh, you would like to see being added into the game the most. Anyways, guys, I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube members and my Patreon sponsors for helping support this channel in such a big way. For now, this is Kairos Time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.